Hey guys, and welcome to my first video of 2021. Woo, we did it, we made it. We made it out of 2020 into what I hope will be a much better year than 2020 was. So I just wanted to, like I've been doing for the past several years, kind of give you a rundown of what's to come for this year. And suffice to say that this year has a lot of making up to do for what we didn't get to do last year, for you know how bad last year was. And that does include, I mean, that means a lot of things all over the world, but just talk about my channel. There were some games that got delayed, and there were some productions that I wanted to do that I couldn't do because of the whole COVID thing. So let me just tell you what I hope to accomplish for this year on my channel. Now first of all, I do want to state that I am going to be doing a lot of acting stuff this year to try to get myself into the Actors Union. That's a big goal that I have for this year, try to get myself into SAG. So I'm going to be trying to balance all that with all my Nintendo reviewer stuff. Um, I feel like I can do it, but just in case the videos seem a little sporadic, that's why. But some of it will be self-produced work, so you can see some of that on my acting channel. Now as far as reviews go, I'm going to be sticking with the Nintendo Switch, uh, maybe some retro games, uh, at least the ones that get re-released on the Nintendo Switch, like I'm going to be looking at Star Fox 2, which is on the SNES Nintendo Switch Online. Um, I've already started playing Doom Eternal, so that review should be coming out pretty soon. And then there's a bunch of games that were supposed to come out this uh, last year, but got delayed because of for a while all the development offices were closed because of COVID, so I know um, No More Heroes 3 got delayed, and Lego Sky Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, that was supposed to come out last year as well. And I, th I think there were a few others, but I know for sure that those two were delayed because of COVID. And um, the 13 remake, that was supposed to come out to the Switch last year. And it came out for the other versions, for some reason we have to wait. And uh, they're saying sometime within the spring or like sometime within March of this year. So hopefully that's true. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely be reviewing those and then the other games that were announced for the Switch, I'll be looking out for whenever those get released, and I'll be sure to review those as they come out. Now also, as most of you guys know, this year is a big year for Super Nintendo World, because we've got Super Nintendo World opening up in Universal Japan on February 4th of this year. And then we've also got Super Nintendo World and Universal Hollywood. We don't have a confirmed opening date for that yet, they're still under, under construction but there's a possibility that it might open during the holiday season of this year, if not sometime within the first half of next year, 2022. I am going to be watching out for everything that happens with the development of Super Nintendo World, and I'll be going over, I know that there was, um, I didn't do as much coverage of Super Nintendo World as I wanted to do this past year, but I'm gonna make up for it this year. I'm gonna do a lot of coverage for Super Nintendo World as the one in Japan opens. I mean, I'm not gonna be leaving the country this year at all. As much as I would like to go to Japan this year, that's probably going to have to wait. Uh, but I am going to be, you know, as I look into things for Universal Parks, for Nintendo Land, Nintendo Land, Nintendo World at all these Universal Parks, I'll be doing coverage for all that, you know, seeing how things go with when Super Nintendo World opens in Japan, and then how development proceeds for Hollywood and the Orlando Park and even the Singapore Park, which um, is pretty far out there. I think it's not supposed to open until 2025. Of course, a lot of these opening dates were pre-COVID, but I mean, the one in Japan was supposed to open actually last summer, but you know. So I'll be, yeah, I'll be doing a lot more coverage for, because I know there's going to be some differences between the different Nintendo worlds, all four of them. So I'll be doing a lot more coverage this year, um, looking into how things go for all the parks, and then when the one over here in Hollywood opens up, I'll be sure to be there one way or another. I'm going to be there when it does open. Next, we've got Silver Screen Showdown. We are entering our third season, and I do want to say right now, this season three will be our final season of Silver Screen Showdown, because I do want to put my time and attention afterwards to some other acting-related things. But I have had fun with Solar Screen Showdown, and there's a lot more fun to be had with this third season. Because I'm actually, instead of it being a six episode season, it's going to be a seven episode season. Because I recently came up with another episode that I thought would be really fun to do, uh, especially for this being a gaming channel. Uh, I'm not going to announce what that is just yet, I'm not, and I'm not going to announce what the series finale is going to be still. Some of you may have seen that, oh, it's untitled, and no, it's untitled, it's not announced yet. 
But yeah, we're going to get back into production of Silver Screen Showdown to uh, start up Season 3. Uh, there's some fights we wanted to do in Season 2, but we weren't able to do because of issues with... COVID was mainly a big one. Um, beforehand, with John Wick versus Jason Bourne, there were scheduling conflicts, and then right when we were able to actually shoot this, that's when the COVID lockdown happened. So it was just really bad timing. So sometime soon, we should be able to start up Season 3 of Silver Screen Showdown. Uh, much sooner than Red Hood, because Silver Screen Showdown usually is only like two people per episode. It's um, whoever is fighting each other. Sometimes there's a bit more depending on what else we're doing or if there's more people involved in a fight. But it's usually just two people to a fight. So it's easier for us to get to that sooner than it is to, for us to get to Red Hood. It's also a bit cheaper for us to produce Silver Screen Showdown than Red Hood. So that's another reason why we're going to probably get to that sooner than we return to Red Hood. But yeah, Silver Screen Showdown. I do have every intention of getting all seven episodes of our third and final season up this year, rather than split them up between two years like I did with the first two seasons, which was mostly because of, you know, scheduling issues. But yeah, I do have every intention of making Silver Screen Showdown complete this year with some really good episodes, so you can look out for that. Now, speaking of Red Hood, last year we were able to shoot episodes 2, 3, and 4. So we shot 3 out of 9 episodes. We did it kind of out of order because we wanted to go on based on what was easier for us to produce, and it turned out episode 3 was the easiest for us to produce first, and then we went to episode 4 right after that. And then um, COVID happened when we were trying to put together all the stuff for episode 2, but we managed to get around all the stuff to film episode 2, and then after that the numbers started going up really high again, so we're probably going to get back to filming Red Hood. We want to get to, we, we're, our priority is episode one right now, because when we get episode one done, then we can finally air episodes one through four, because two, three, and four are all in post-production right now. So we want to film episode one probably sometime in February, maybe early March, depending on how things go, but that's kind of um, the window that we're looking at right now. And then we'll start cast. We'll start casting for episodes 5 through 9, and then shoot those probably sometime in late summer, early fall, so that we can get those out for either a September release or a November release, because we don't want us to really uh, premiere at the same time as Spooky Month, because again, in October, we like to focus on all things Halloween. So that's our goal for Red Hood. I mean, that's, that's what I intend to do with Red Hood, is to get episodes 1 through 4 out before, basically before Memorial Day, because I, I want to premiere episodes 1 through 4 of Red Hood No One's Son before Memorial Day, and then I want to get the other episodes, you know, 5 through 9, out before the end of, of November, so before December, um, just based on how long it's going to take for us to produce all the episodes for Red Hood, especially if we're going to be producing it at the same time as Silver Screen Showdown, so I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm need to find some other ways to scrounge up money to produce Red Hood especially because I did my budget for Silver Screen Showdown and Red Hood. Red Hood's getting pretty expensive to produce, not gonna lie. I mean we do have enough money already to produce episode 1 of Red Hood, but we need a lot more to produce episodes 5 through 9, so yeah, that's gonna be fun. And last thing on the subject of money is I've decided I'm going to start selling merchandise later this year. Um, not right away. I did find a website with which to distribute my merchandise. But So first I need to put together my designs for the different shirts and mugs and you know, all that stuff. Because I don't want you guys to buy a mug that just says Nintendo Reviewer on it because you know, that's kind of boring. I feel like it should have some kind of cool design. So I want to work on the designs and then I'll start selling the merchandise, and when I actually do put it out on the market, I'll make an announcement on some video so you guys can buy some cool Nintendo Reviewer stuff. One other thing I forgot to mention is that Varsha and I do want to travel to a lot of places. Um, some places are you know, Nintendo-focused places, you know, like Universal Studios, which is going to have Super Nintendo World, and some other places that we want to go to for Halloween and just you know, general travel. Um, those probably won't happen until the second half of this year because even though we have a vaccine out now It's going to take them some time to distribute it to everybody. I think they said um, at least until like late spring early summer to get a significant amount of population vaccinated um, 
we should be getting vaccinated, I think, sometime sooner than that because Varsha is actually a high risk person and I'm considered an essential worker with my day job. So, yeah, sooner we get vaccinated, the better. Because there were a lot of places that we wanted to travel last year, but those all got canceled. I mean, even our trip to Universal Studios in January, that wasn't something that we planned ahead of time. That was something that was just, oh, we happen to have Martin Luther King weekend off, so let's just go to Universal, and we just went. So that's how we were able to get some footage of Nintendo World as it was being built at that time. Uh, I did want to go again in March and in July, to because we do like going, and also to see how the land was progressing. But yeah, COVID canceled all of those plans. I mean, I was supposed to go to Vegas, actually, for my birthday last year, but you know, all this was going on, and nobody in Vegas was wearing a mask from the footage that we saw, so... There's a lot that we want to do this year, but the second half of this year, and hopefully we can... This is a wooden table. Hopefully we can do it all. You know, all the traveling and all the stuff that we both want to produce, because she hasn't put out a video on her channel for a long time because of everything that's been going on last year. So I think you'll be seeing a lot more from for both of us. So that's what's in store for 2021. I will see you guys in the first review of 2021, which will be Doom Eternal for the Switch. See ya!